Hi, this is Danny here at Stein Air. I wanted to make a quick video to demonstrate how to use this coax stripper on RG400 cable. One thing you'll notice about this stripper is it has this part here, this bump outs. That's a guide for how to set the depth of the coax that you were stripping. And it's got this rubber band on it that helps put pressure on the blade that's on the inside of this hole. So to use this, what we do is we're gonna feed this RG400 into this hole. We just put a little pressure to stretch this band and feed this through. We're gonna feed it all the way through until it hits that first depth gauge right there until it's about flush. Now we're gonna spin this around two or three times. And as I'm spinning it, I can feel the blade cutting into the outside insulation and the inside shielded wire that's in there. So we're gonna go around a couple times. I can feel kind of uh, kind of the grittiness of it cutting through there. Now I'm through, so once I cut through, you can see that it scored a mark right there. So all we have to do is just get your nail in there and just kind of pry that off. And that should just pop right off. Then what we do is we're gonna feed this back into our tool. We're gonna release the tension on there and feed it through. And this time we're gonna make it flush with our insulation. This top, this edge flush with the insulation. And this time we're gonna go counterclockwise a couple of times because this time we're just cutting through the outer insulation. And there you can see it left a score mark on our insulation. So I'm just gonna pry that off a little bit and get my nail under there. I should be able to just scoop that off there. Now we just remove the insulation. And now we're ready to put on our BNC connector. The next step is to put on the pin, the tip of the pin of our BNC connector. And that goes on inside this core of a RG400. We need to strip that. And we're gonna strip it to about the depth of this pin. So just kind of look at that and see about how deep it needs to go. I'll grab a razor blade and what I do is I just I'll just use the razor blade and I'll look at about how deep I want to go and I'll just make my mark and then I just push down the razor blade and I'm just pushing down I'm not doing anything else I'm not sawing it or anything like that I'm just pushing down and I'm just chopping off the edge of or the tip of this core I'm just going to pry that off until it falls down next I put on our pin there's a little window right there. We can see that the core of the RG400 fits into this little window right here. And then we're gonna crimp that. Now on this crimper, there's several different spots. We're gonna use the smallest one right here. And there's a little shoulder that the pin is gonna rest on right here. And that's, where, that's the part that's gonna crimp our pin. So what we do is we put our pin in there. There's a little shoulder that's gonna rest on that spot. And that's the part we wanna crimp. You can see on the other side, it's just kinda, it looks like it's floating in there. And on this side. Just gonna crimp that. You can see we got to crimp all the way around there. Next, I will take my razor blade and I'll just kind of feather out this insulation a little bit. And you'll see why in just a moment. I need to open that up. And making sure none of that insulation is touching the pin. And then we're going to slide over our BNC contact. And that should snap into place. Here, click. And the pin should come up almost flush with that white part. Um, it doesn't stick out far, but it's just, it's make sure it's pushed in all the way. And then, I haven't put the other end on, so I'm gonna slide this all the way up the back. And if you hadn't done so, you'd wanna pop this off and then make sure you put on this um, barrel part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide that up until it pushes this insulation on top of the BNC connector. And now we're ready to crimp that. This time we're gonna use the second hole of our coax crimper. I'm gonna put that right on there. I'm gonna put my finger in here to apply pressure on this side. And I use my thumb to apply pressure on this side. Um, that way everything's just nice and tight and snug. 
I'm gonna crimp that. And it's not wide enough to crimp the whole thing, so I'm actually gonna put it in there twice. And this time I'm just gonna slide this in just a little bit and give it a second crimp. There. Now that part's been crimped. And you're done. So all of these parts can be purchased at our website at steinair.com. Please go there, check it out, and check out any other videos we have.